And howdy folks, this is your old pal Uncle Al. Can't sleep. My mom's having one of those pick, uh, mental problems. So she's watching TV quietly. Okay, this is a movie review. I tell a lot of people, Seven Days in May, 1964, on YouTube. You pay two bucks and 99 cents or it's free on Tubi. It's Burt Lancaster and Kirk Douglas. It's a uh, military political cabal coup. Very good uh, movie. It could be remade for Netflix under budget. And a little changes the script to make it updated, but it's perfect sense. And, you know, you got L L uh, the British actor, um, L L Elnis Ebaba. Okay, he played in Thor, uh, blind guy. He'd be perfect for the, uh, what do you call it, Air Force General. All right, a lot of people knows me and I know how DEI and all the weird uh, what you call woke stuff works but I can make this movie work fairly easy of course everybody's going to hate it and they're going to look at it and like oh god because it's the truth all right another thing movie review is the Y files if you know the Y files it's been on uh, YouTube for last God knows what. Uh, it's now on Tubi. Free on Tubi. 2023. It's three seasons of the best of wife files. We're not talking about the really strange stuff. But if you want to see stuff the way Unclown looks at the world. Then you understand how Unclown thinks. Because all this is illusion, folks. Because I can't sleep tonight. <sighs> Pain level is about 7, I took Percocet and I took a tranquilizer to help me out. I did talk to somebody, a nurse, and they told me, try to keep warm and relax. Try drinking milk. I'm kind of looking at them like, my stomach's already upset and the milk's not helping it. I drink milk all the time, but not this time. Too much stress, they say. If you knew what I knew, you'd be screaming and pulling your hair out. Go look at the David Lynn Prepper Principal. Good example. Okay, I got a few things I got to do. A lot of you are, what you call it, still in the 50 mile circle, circling the drain. And you don't know what's coming up. Circling the dream. Okay. I got a lot of things I got to do. Alright. One of my favorite things I like to do is study about nutrition and food history and rations. Now a lot of people tell me about this and that. I keep telling people a lot of vegan food, processed vegan food or just plain processed food are done by the lowest bidders. I have to repeat myself and I just go goes one ear and goes the other. Alright? So like I say, grow a garden. Save America. It's the easiest thing to do. Learn how to stockpile. Alright? That's easy. Learn how to process, dry, store your food. It's supposed to last you two growing seasons. A lot of you won't last less than six weeks and then you'll be dead. All right, this is the truth. Because a lot of you don't know what's going on. Or you end up like those people. He died with all this stuff around him. So he had like 24 years of freeze dried food and what killed him? Oh, he fell down his stairs. Okay, that was a big hoarding mess. All right, other people says I could survive in my apartment. And I kind of look at them. Are you smoking crack? All right. Yeah. Let's see. All right. First thing you want to do is vote. Always vote. Second thing you want to do: know your local politics. Who runs the school board? Is your school teacher a pervert? 
Who's on the school board? Do they have connections? I go through my school board like a fine tooth comb. I know who, who's in whose pockets and stuff like that. And if I need to, I could dig up dirt on them. All right. You have to outsmart people. All right. Now, Wayne did a pretty good one. Why you train, train like an operator? Because most people don't understand. These guys are professional. You're just some guy going, yep, I could do that. I saw it on the movies. 100% of the time, movies get it wrong. Wrong on cops, wrong on doctors, hell wrong on a, uh, what do you call it, operators and CIA stuff, I mean, NSA stuff. No, they don't look like James Bond, they don't go around shooting people. Hell no, it's data collecting. All right, you look out for the guy who looks like Uncle Al, not Asian, stupid. All right, little old guy quietly walking around. All right, you're looking for James Bond. What's the most deadliest thing Uncle Alan will carry is this and a notebook and maybe a ballpoint pen. That I would be really scared of that instead of some guy, I have a Walter PPK. I like my martinis shaking but not stir. Do you know how long those idiots will last out in the field? 20 minutes and then they get gunned down. All right, go check out Wayne at the Grateful Peasant. Keep telling this to people. I'm looking at them like, you know, a lot of them don't, I wouldn't give guns to half the preppers and survivalists out there. I'm just looking at them like, no, hell no, go away. All right, I get tired. People set themselves up for incidents. I don't. All right. Uh, people know I had some punk at the old house, came in my backyard. I had him hogtied, marked on his head, burglar. And I told the sheriff, I want my handcuffs back. All right, Uncle Allen has leg cuffs and handcuffs. I know how to do it. And it's not too tight that you can easily lock pick. All right, there's three kinds of locks, handcuffs. There's a simple Smith & Wesson, the advanced one that you can't, and there's a third one that all operatives and terrorists and agents use. That one's you should practice. Me, I could take it with a bobby pin. Let's handcuff you, put a bag over your head. Well, let's see you try that. All right, folks. You have a nice day. Remember what I've been talking about. This is just a movie review. Remember, everything you see on YouTube is an illusion. And you should got a lawyer. Because right now, social media is getting their butts ringed. Nobody watches my show. And I'll catch you later. You have a nice night. And I'll see you tomorrow. Remember, today is February 4th. You're running out of time. Good luck. Good luck. God bless. Reality check. Bye now.